So we're back with Tackle Tuesday. And the one question that people like to ask me is about what type of rod do I get? When I'm going out, it's my first time fishing, I wanna take my daughter or I wanna take my son and they don't have a lot of experience, I wanna get a good rod. Well, I'll tell you the types of rods that are out there that makes good sense. We'll start with a spinning rod. Spinning rod, you can see the eyelids are elongated off of the rod a little bit more to accommodate the reel that is a spinning reel. Spinning reel has a bail on it. So you flip the bail, cast it while you're holding the line, and ultimately, it's a great place to start for beginners. So if it's your first time fishing, you always want to start with a spinning rod, with a good reel. Make sure the bail opens completely and you can cast it a long way. Never start with a bait caster because it's not a good place to start. You'll have a lot of fun trying to get the line untangled and so many other challenges. But if you're looking for your first time casting a rod, reel, this is a good place to start, a spinning reel. Let's talk about a bait casting rod. This is what you see professional bass fishermen use. I use a bait casting rod. I use a bait casting reel. They're fantastic. What's the difference between this and a spinning rod? A bait casting rod has the ability to have a lot more torque. So when you're in some thick stuff, it's gonna have a stronger tip. It's gonna have a much stronger backbone. In addition, you'll be able to cast it a lot further than you would cast a spinning rod. What I love about a bait casting rod is there's so many different types of powers. And the one thing you wanna look at is what does it say on the side here? This is important. Medium heavy, heavy, or even medium. Let's talk a little bit about that. Medium is probably gonna be for a bait that's probably on top, a top water. So the tip is a little bit more flimsy, still has pretty good backbone, but it allows you to have a little tip and give when the fish takes the bait off the top of the water. A medium heavy is one of the most common rods used for bass fishing. It's a place where you can use for crankbaits, you can use for worm fishing, you can use for so many different applications, spinner baits, you know, rattle traps, whatever the case may be. But a medium heavy is what you see more of when you're talking about bass fishermen. It's a very common rod. So, then there's also the heavy action. Why heavy? Why do you need such a heavy action? The tip is a lot less pliable and flexible. It's because you'll see it, like some of the videos we talked about before, with that heavy action hook flipping flipping in the grass, flipping, doing some other things, and even worm fishing. It has so many applications, but I think the one thing that most people know is you gotta have a lot of torque, and you're probably in some thick stuff, so you need to be able to get them out of there quick, and usually a heavy action rod will do it. Now let's talk about salt water. Salt water has a different action. So, talking about a salt water rod. I personally like the Ocean Master, because it's offshore, and it has some good tip. It's a different type of rod versus a freshwater rod. You're gonna have the ability to have a little bit more torque and it's gonna have a little bit of pliable uh, tip as well. But it's made for inshore and offshore fishing. That's important. Saltwater rods are not made for freshwater rods. Sometimes freshwater rods can be used in saltwater, but it depends on what you like as far as the action. But typically, if you're fishing saltwater, you want to get a saltwater rod so that you're fishing with the appropriate rod that's made for that particular scenario. Now, we're talking about offshore. Saltwater offshore, one of my favorite things to do. This is usually a little bit more of a beast because you're dealing with grouper, you're dealing with snapper, and the kind of stuff we have here in Florida, you don't want to come ill-equipped because you get your feelings hurt. So this is what I like to use. You can see it's a little bit shorter of a tip. A short rod, but it has a lot of backbone. In addition, notice the long handle there. So what that is for, I get a fish on, it's under my shoulder, I got a lot of control. 
okay? So think about that when you're going offshore. Some of you like to do charters, this is always a good place to start. So that's the general idea you get with all your fishing rods. There's so many different applications, but you find the one that works for you and makes your life easier to catch more fish. Zacco Tuesday.